Sending out healing prayers and comforting hugs to the royal family and to all the people who are mourning on Prince Philip's death. This video is just a compilation of his greatest gaffes, as the phrase the media is using on some people, celebrities and even a few presidents that has experienced it themselves. Do note that this video is only about his greatest gaffes and we didn't include any inspirational quotes from Prince Philip. Prince Philip is well known with his gaffes and he knows it. He even mentioned this quote during the General Dental Council in 1960. Dontopedology is the science of opening your mouth and putting your foot in it. A science which I have practiced for a good many years. Prince Philip is well known to his different opinions on kids, celebrities and different people. He voices it out and some people may get offended but maybe he is just cracking a joke. Let us head to some of his gaffes on kids. Deaf. If you're near there, no wonder you are deaf. Said to a group of deaf children in 2000. You're too fat to be an astronaut. Said to a 13-year-old boy. Who told him in 2001 that he wanted to go into space. At Salford University. It makes you all look like Dracula's daughters. Said to pupils at Queen Anne's school in Reading. Who's wearing blood red uniforms. In 1998. Young people are the same as they always were. They are just as ignorant. This was at the 50th anniversary of the Duke of Edinburgh Awards scheme. Now let us head over to Prince Philip's greatest gaffes on women. You are a woman, aren't you? Said to a Kenyan woman, who was presenting him with a small gift in 1984. British women can't cook. Over the Scottish Women's Institute in 1966. Was it hasty generalization? I don't think a prostitute is more moral than a wife. But they are doing the same thing. When a man opens a car door for his wife. It's either a new car. Or a new wife. Wait. Gentlemen. Is this true? Do you work in a strip club? To a 24-year-old Barnstaple C. Cadet Elizabeth Rendell when she told him she also worked in a nightclub. You look like a suicide bomber. To a young policewoman wearing a bulletproof vest on Stornoway. Isle of Lewis. Next. Comments during Prince Philip's state visit. You look like you're ready for bed. Said in 2003 to President of Nigeria. Who was dressed in traditional robes. Aren't most of you descended from pirates? Said to a wealthy islander in the Cayman Islands. 1994. Do you still throw spears at each other? Says to an Australian aborigine while on state visit. It's a pleasure to be in a country that isn't ruled by its people. A few years ago, everybody was saying we must have more leisure. Everyone's working too much. Now everybody's got more leisure time they're complaining they're unemployed. People don't seem to make up their minds what they want. How do you keep the natives off the booze long enough to pass the test? To a Scottish driving instructor in Oban in 1995. Get me a beer. I don't care what kind it is. Just get me a beer. On being offered the finest Italian wines by PM Giuliano Amato at a dinner in Rome in 2000. You bloody silly fool. To an elderly car park attendant who didn't recognize him. In 1997. No. I would probably end up spitting it out over everybody. Prince Philip declines the offer of some fish from Rick Stein's Seafood Deli in 2000. Prince Philip's greatest gaffes and multicultural race. There's a lot of your family in tonight. After he read Business Chief Patel's badge. During a 2009 Buckingham Palace reception. For 400 influential British Indians to meet the royal couple. So who's on drugs here? He looks as if he's on drugs. During the Bangladesh Youth Club in London in 2002. Pointing at one 14 year old. I would like to go to Russia very much. Although the bastards murdered half my family. 
In 1967, he was asked if he would like to go to Moscow to help ease Cold War tensions. Now, here's another famous comments on China. If it has got four legs and it is not a chair. If it has got two wings and it flies but is not an aeroplane. And if it swims and it is not a submarine. The Cantonese will eat it. Said in a meeting of the World Wildlife Fund in 1986. One of Philip's most famous quotations was made in China in 1986. When he told a British student that. If you stay here much longer you'll all be slitty eyed. Now who wouldn't believe that he has gaffes on some well-known celebrities? When he was told that Madonna was singing the Die Another Day theme song at the film's Albert Hall premiere in 2002. Are we going to need earplugs? Here's one on Tom Jones. After the Royal Variety performance in 1969. What do you gargle with, pebbles? Another comment on Tom Jones. What about Tom Jones? He's made a million and he's a bloody awful singer. I wish he'd turn the microphone off. The Prince expresses his opinion of Elton John's performance at the 73rd Royal Variety Show. 2001. When actress Kate Blanchett was invited to Buckingham Palace for a lunch date. She thought the Queen and Prince Philip would want to talk about her acting. She was sitting next to Prince Philip and he said. I hear you're an actor. I was given a DVD player for Christmas and I can't work out whether I put the green cord in or the red cord. Comments on arts and fashion. You're not wearing mink knickers are you? While talking to a fashion journalist in Toronto at an event in 1993. It looks like the kind of thing my daughter would bring back from school art lessons. Giving his view on some Ethiopian art during a tour of East Africa in 1965. And of course, this wouldn't be completed if we will not include those hilarious gaffes on the press. You have mosquitoes. I have the press. To the matron of a hospital in the Caribbean in 1966. Damn fool question. To BBC journalist Caroline Wyatt at a banquet at the Elysee Palace after she asked Queen Elizabeth if she was enjoying her stay in Paris in 2006. What about the one where he says, just take the f asterisk 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 ing picture. During what appeared to be an overlong photo call at an event marking the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. And here's the final gaffe that Prince Philip mentioned that's a bit spooky. In the event that I am reincarnated, I would like to return as a deadly virus. In order to contribute something to solve overpopulation. Was it coincidence? Do tell us on the comments section below. What was the funniest or if that's hitting way down below the belt based on your opinion. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to get updated on our upcoming videos. See you on the next.